What's going on guys, Steven here. So today we're gonna to be unboxing the Fantex GPU water block. This is for the Asus RTX 2080 and 2080 Ti. So let's go ahead and get it open. All right, so there it is. Um, Glacier G2080Ti, like I said, Asus Strix RTX 2080 and the 2080 Ti. Um, I will have links for this down in the description. I did get this off of Amazon. It was around 160 bucks, I believe. So the packaging actually looks pretty nice. Um, there's the GPU block there, kind of up close. And let's see what else we get. All right, so first bag of goodies here. We have two plugs. We have some thermal paste. This is Fantex uh, thermal paste. And then we have a couple things of uh, thermal pads. Next bag here. So next bag, we have two wires, uh, actually one wire. So this is going to be for the RGB. Um, I do not see a three pin connector in here for your motherboard. So it looks like it's gonna be a, uh, either have to have the Fantex um, header, but what I will do is I actually believe I have one of these, so I'll still be able to hook that up. And we have the booklet here, or little pamphlet. Uh, it's probably gonna be instructions telling you how to take it apart. So there's the instructions there. Now on to the good stuff. some snacks I'm just kidding don't eat those throw those away okay so this block is actually very very heavy um, it feels real heavy it is fairly thick as you can see there so we have let's see where do we plug in that RGB at right there so there's a little connector where the RGB would be plugged in uh, kind of nice got a little indentation right there so um, they have this block in two different variants they have the black and then they also have the chrome look um, I wanted the black look I just thought it would look a little better in my case it does have a protective film over it uh, your ports here, so we can go out of the uh, side here. No ports on the top. And then you can also go out the back. Uh, the nice thing about this too, is it does have three screws. Not sure if some of you guys have seen recently with the leaks with the uh, Corsair ones, but uh, it is nice, it has three there. On the back here, um, it's a full cover. GPU block so um, a nice spot for the die so yeah it looks really nice um, 
very well built i must say uh it, it is like i said it's really heavy so if you're gonna have your graphics card mounted um in a regular way and slot in um i would highly suggest to get some kind of uh, gpu bracket i do have mine vertically mounted so i don't see it being a huge problem um some of you might uh see in my last video where i had the where i did the gigabyte rtx 2080 uh, ti with the water block install and whatnot uh that water or that uh gpu actually took a crap um after i had it for just two days uh, it was stuck at 1350 megahertz and I tried everything. I tried new power supply. I tried three different V-Bias, uh, a whole bunch of stuff and the card would just not go into 3D clock mode. And I was getting worse scores on that Gigabyte uh, 2080 Ti than I was with my Asus um, GTX 1080. So I sent that back and I had to wait a couple of days, but luckily I did get a Asus Strix RTX 2080 Ti, the OC um, version. So I do have that coming, that'll be here tomorrow. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna do some separate videos. So first video, just this unboxing really quick, showing this off. Um, couldn't really find too many but I will also do a video, a uh, little time lapse of unboxing of the card and installing this block onto the uh, Asus RTX 2080 Ti that I got. So that's just a quick uh, little unboxing and overview of this. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, anything, please feel free to leave them down below. Greatly appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider hitting that subscribe button and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.